ascomycetes ascomycetes these are the fungi these are also called as sac fungi the ascomycetes are mostly multicellular multicellular means what made up of many cells example penicillin or rarely unicellular example yeast that is saccharomyces means what ascomycetes are also called as sac fungi these are mostly multicellular for example penicillium and rarely unicellular for example is it is also called as saccharomyces they are saprophytic means depend on dead or decaying organisms decomposer they decompose it may be parasitic depend on living organism and coprophilus growing on dung mycelium is branched and septate the mycelium in this ascomycetes is branched and septate they may ask question about this mycelium in ascomycetes you must know it is branched and septate the asexual spores are conidia produce exogenously on special mycelium called conidiophores asexual spores are called as conidia and this produce a special mycelium and this special mycelium is called as conidiophores conidia on germination produce mycelium sexual spores are called ascospores in ascomycetes the sex with those are the sexual spores are called ascospores which produce endogenously in sac like axkai called singular ascus c in c in ascospores ascospores are the sexual spores which are produced endogenously inside the body cavity in sac like axkai sac like means it's like a container sac like container it is also called as singular ascus the ascai are arranged in different types of fruiting bodies called ascocarps before this we have seen sexual spores are called ascospores and the fruiting bodies are called as ascocarps so keep in mind about ascocarps and ascospores sexual spores ascocarp ascospores and ascoscarp is a fruiting bodies some examples are aspergillus claviceps neurospora these are the three examples of ascospores aspergillus claviceps and neurospora neurospora is used extensively in biochemical and genetic work many members like morels and truffles are edible and are considered delicious delicious so in ascomycetes keep in mind ascomycetes are the fungi it is sac like fungi and it may be multicellular or unicellular multicellular example penicillium unicellular example yeast then they may be saprophytic decomposer parasitic coprophilus coprophilus means what growing on dung mycelium is branched and septed sexual spores are also called as conidia and sexual asexual spores are called conidia and asexual spores are produced exogenously keep in mind asexual spores produce exogenously on special mycelium that is called as conidiospores and sexual spores produce endogenously and these sexual spores are called ascospores asexual spores are called conidiospores sexual spores are called ascospores fruiting bodies are called ascocarps and the examples of this ascomycet uh, examples of, of this ascomycetes are aspergillus neurospora and claviceps neurospora is extensively used in biochemical and genetic work so next is basidiomycetes commonly known as basidiomycetes 
आर द मशरूम ब्रैकेट फंगा एंड पब्बल्स बेसिडोमाइसिटी इन्क्लूड मशरूम्स ब्रैकेट फंगा एंड पब्बल्स दे ग्रो इन सॉइल ऑन लोक्स ट्री स्टैम्प एंड लिविंग प्लांट बॉडीज एज अ पैरासाइट एग्जाम्पल रस्ट एंड स्मर्स मीन्स वॉट देर हैबिटेट इज दे लिव इन सॉइल लॉग्स ट्री स्टम्प्स एंड ऑन प्लांट बॉडीज एंड आर पैरासाइट्स एग्जाम्पल रस्ट एंड स्मर्स द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बेसिडोमाइसिटीज ऑल्सो इंक्लूड रस्ट एंड स्मर्स द माइसेलियम इज ब्रांच एंड सेप्टेड सो यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड दैट माइसेलियम इन बेसिडोमाइसिटीज इज ब्रांच एंड सेप्टेड असेक्शुअल स्पोर्स आर जनरली नॉट फाउंड बट द वेजिटेटरी रिप्रोडक्शन बाय फ्रेगमेंटेशन इज कॉमन द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हियर इज इन बेसिडियोमाइसिटीज असेक्शुअल स्पोर्स आर नॉट फाउंड आर नॉट फाउंड बट वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन बाय फ्रेगमेंटेशन इज कॉमन द सेक्स ऑर्गन्स आर एबसेंट Asexual spores also not found. Sex organs also absent. Only by vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation is common. Then next is sex organs are absent, but plasmogamy is brought about by the fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells of different strains or genotypes. What is meant by plasmogamy? Earlier we have seen plasmogamy is a fusion of two motile or non-motile gametes. is called as plasmogamy. If this, if the sex organ is absent, then also plasmogamy is brought about by fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells of different strains or genotype. The resultant structure is dicaryotic, which ultimately gives rise to basidium karyogamy and meiosis what is meant by karyogamy karyogamy means fusion of two nuclei it is called as karyogamy and meiosis takes place in basidium producing four basidiospores the basidiospores are exogenously produced on basidium the basidia are arranged in protein bodies called as basidiocarps earlier we have seen in ascomycetes that the fruiting bodies were called as ascoscarps now the fruiting body in basidios force are also called as basidiocarps okay the some examples of this are agaricus means mushroom eustilago means smut and pusinia means rust fungi so you have to keep in mind about basidiomycetes are they are like fungi bracket fungi mushroom and pop balls they commonly known as bracket fungi mushroom pop balls then next is they do not produce asexual spores asexual spores are absent sex organs also absent but plasmogamy is brought about by fusion of two vegetative somatic cells or of different genotypes means plasmogamy is present karyogamy and meiosis takes place in basidium fruiting bodies in basidiomycetes is basidiocarps and the mycelium is branched and septate examples of this basidiomycetes is agaricus agaricus means mushroom eustilago means smooth and pusinia means wrist fungus rust fungus next is deuteromycetes commonly known as imperfect fungi because only asexual or vegetative phases of these fungi are known previously we have learned that asexual spores were absent sex organs also absent in basidiomycetes now in deuteromycetes it is also called as imperfect fungi the reason of imperfect fungi because only asexual or vegetative phases of this fungi are known when the sexual forms of this fungi were discovered they were moved into class they rightly belong to 
वंस परफेक्ट सेक्शुअल स्टेजेस ऑफ मेंबर ऑफ ड्यूटेरोमाइसिटीज वेर डिस्कवर्ड दे ऑफन मूव टू एस्कोमाइसिटीज एंड डेसिडियोमाइसिटीज द ड्यूटेरोमाइसिटीज रिप्रोड्यूस ओनली बाय असेक्शुअल स्पोर्स नोन एज कोनिडिया माइसेलेम इज सेप्टेट एंड ब्रांच सम मेंबर्स आर सेप्रोफाइटिक एंड पैरासाइटिक वाइल लार्ज मेंबर ऑफ देम आर डिकम्पोजर्स ऑफ लिटर एंड हेल्प इन मिनरल साइकिलिंग so the most important point from deuteromycetes are they are imperfect fungi next is their sexual or vegetative phases of fungi are known but sexual stages are not known at are not known only sexual and vegetative phases of this fungi are known the next is they are decomposer of litter and help in mineral cycling they may ask question decomposer of litter and help in mineral cycling so deuteromycetes is correct answer some examples are alternaria coletotrichum and trichoderma these are the three examples of deuteromycetes okay then whenever the sexual stages of this fungi were discovered they oftenly moved to ascomycetes and decidiomycetes okay because here the sexual stage is not mentioned and whenever the sexual stage uh, were discovered they were directly moved to ascomycetes and decidiomycetes an example of this deuteromycetes are alternaria coletotrichum and trichoderma next is kingdom planty kingdom planty include all eukaryotic chlorophyll containing organisms commonly called as plants a few members are partially heterotrophic such as insectivorous plants insectivorous plants or parasites bladder wart venus flytrap are the examples of insectivorous plant and cuscata is a parasite so from here from kingdom planty kingdom planty uh is given uh, given deeply and it has given a specific chapter means kingdom planty is a whole chapter it is third chapter we will learn their detail now from here uh, the question may ask about insectivorous plant insectivorous plants are bladder wart and venus flytrap and parasitic form is cuscata then kingdom animalia kingdom animalia is also a separate chapter we will learn there in detail then viruses viroids prions and lichens in kingdom in five kingdom classification of vitacar there is no mention of lichens and some all cellular organism like virus viroids and prions in five kingdom system the vitacar does not mention about lichens or cellular organisms like viruses viroids and prions viruses virions and prions are the all cellular organism means they do not possess cells the viruses are non cellular organism that are characterized by having an inert having inert crystalline structure outside the living cell means what they are a cellular organism they are having inner cellular in inner crystalline structure outside the living cell then once they infect the cell they take over the machinery of host cell to replicate them same themselves killing the host means whenever the virus enters into the living cell they take up the machinery of host cell and kill the host viruses means venom or poisonous fluid viruses means what they are the venom or poisonous fluid levonoscai in 1892 recognized certain microbes as as causal organism of mosaic disease of tobacco he he recognized the microbes of mosaic disease of tobacco these are found to be smaller than bacteria because 
दे पास थ्रू बैक्टेरिया प्रूफ फिल्टर एम डब्ल्यू बेजनिक इन 1898 demonstrated that extract of infected plant of tobacco could cause infection to healthy plants and name them a new pathogen virus and called as called as fluid as contagium vivum fluidum infectious living fluid means what viruses are the poisonous fluid or venom the levonuskai in 1892 recognized that recognized that the causal organism of mosaic disease of tobacco then he also found that they are smaller than bacteria because they do not pass through bacteria proof filters then m w bezernik in 1898 he demonstrated the he demonstrated that the infected plant of tobacco could cause infection to healthy plants and name the new pathogen virus as and he gave the another name for virus as called as fluid as contagium vivum fluidum infectious living fluid the name who has given contagium vivum fluidum the answer is m w bezernik in 1980 Eight. Then next scientist is W. M. Stanley in 1935 showed that virus could be crystalline and crystal consists of largely proteins. They are inert outside the specific host cell. Viruses are obligate parasite. So you have to keep in mind that M. W. W. M. Stanley in 1935 showed that viruses are crystalline and crystals are consist of protein and they are outside the specific host cell and viruses are obligate parasites so i won a sky in 1892 recognized that mosaic disease of tobacco and they were smaller than bacteria because they pass through bacteria proof filters these were said by i won a sky in 1892 then next scientist came that is w m w bezernik in 1898 he demonstrated that infected plant of tobacco could cause infection to healthy plants and this fluid was known as contagium vivum fluid um, infectious living fluid this concept was given by w m w bezernik in 1898 the next scientist came w m stanley in 1935 he showed that viruses are the crystalline structure and this crystals are made up of protein and they are obligate parasite the next is addition to proteins viruses also contain genetic material that virus contain it is a cellular but it contain genetic material that could be either rna or dna no virus contain both rna or dna so in addition to protein virus also contain genetic material it may be rna it may be dna but no virus can contain both rna or dna then a virus is a nucleo protein and genetic material is infectious it is a nucleo protein and that genetic material is infection in general virus that infect plant have single stranded rna and virus that infect animals have single or double stranded rna or double stranded dna see listen here the question may ask from here virus that infect plant it always has single stranded rna and virus that infect animal it has single or double stranded rna or double stranded dna double stranded dna keep in mind bacterial viruses or bacteriophages means what virus that infect bacteria is called bacteriophages are usually double stranded viruses so keep in mind bacterial virus or bacteriophage are double stranded viruses the protein coat called capsid the protein coat of virus is called as capsid made up of small sub units called as 
capsomers protect the nucleic acid the capsomers are arranged in helical or polyhedral geometrical forms this question may be asked that arrangement of capsomers it is helical or polyhedral in geometrical forms viruses can cause diseases like mumps smallpox herpes influenza aids in human also caused by a virus in plants symptoms can be mosaic formation leaf rolling curling yellowing vein clearing drawling and stunted growth next is viroids in 1971 tio danner discovered a new infectious agent that was smaller than virus and cause potato spindle tuber disease viroids are discovered by t o danner in 1971 and he discovered that it is smaller than viruses and it cause potato spindle tuber disease it was found to be free rna it lacked a protein coat that is found in viruses viruses had a protein coat we studied earlier it is protein coat of viruses called as capsid it is made up of capsomere but in viroids viroids are the smaller than viruses and it has a free rna and it lack a protein coat which were present in viruses hence the name as viroid why the name is given viroid because it lacks the protein coat the rna of viroid is of low molecular weight though it is a free rna then also it is a of low molecular weight the next is prions in modern medicine certain infectious neurological diseases were found to be transmitted by an agent consisting of abnormally folded protein the agent was smaller in size to viruses means prions were smaller in size to viruses these agents are called as prions the most notable disease caused by prions are bovine spongiform encephalopathy b s e the most notable disease is b s e bovine spongiform encephalopathy commonly called as mad cow disease in cattle and it is analogous variant of c r jacob disease in humans means it causes bovine spongiform encephalopathy commonly called as mad cow disease in cattle and it is analogous means it is same it is same as c r jacob disease in human next is lichens lichens are symbiotic association that is mutually useful association between algae and fungi algal component is called as phycobiont fungal component is called as mycobiont you have to keep in mind algal component phycobiont fungal fung component mycobiont which are autotrophic autotrophic means they can prepare their own food and heterotrophic they are dependent on others respectively algae prepare food for fungi and fungi provide shelter and absorb mineral nutrition and water from its partner means they are mutually facilitating each other like algae prepare food and fungi give shelter and they facilitate each other so close is their association if one saw lichen in nature one would never imagine that they had two different organism within them lichens are very good pollution indication indicator they do not grow in polluted areas lichens are also pollution indicators